Hello, my name is Thayin and I like to experiment with AI art. Today I will be giving you an overview of what was discussed in the Midjourney office hours on the 30th of November 2022. Update 4.1 was released during that week. It uses different neural networks than before and it allows for sharper images, enables use of different aspect ratios and it understands prompt subtleties better, but it is more restricted with style. There will be a dash dash stylize added for those people who think the current style is too restrictive. Also certain new styles will be available with dash dash style on top of the current style. The team is also thinking about adding a raw mode that turns off safeties on the models. This will make images look not so polished with easier prompts and will require using longer prompts to get better looking images. This is just an idea they have for an advanced option. They also want to add more advanced modes for people to be able to push the dial in some directions and be able to generate weirder stuff. The team is working on new versions of networks that will generate sharper images with less artifacts like borders or watermarks. Currently there is dataset contamination that is causing that. There will be some updates in the near future for cleaning the data. David explained that in the current version pictures are blurry because there is blurry data and they're working on getting rid of that bad data. Apparently the network is more susceptible for a little bit of bad data. There will be new updates in a week or two. The team will try to deduplicate data in the future to make it more harder to duplicate famous works. It doesn't happen currently that often, but with deduplication, that chance will be even smaller. Another system is being trained that may be better at wider aspect ratios for V4. The next version of V4 will have tiling and wider aspect ratios included. Estimated time for that is one or two weeks. In December the team is thinking of making some additional tools to help people with discovering their style. Tutorials and other tools. They are also thinking of releasing style and character controls during December. This means that there will be options to create a character to direct it across different prompts. In December there are also more internet slash website and community features planned. They are not ready to say what they are yet. These have been lately delayed because of the billing change which has used the web team's resources. Next week there will be an update to the billing system. This will include changing metered billing to blocks of hours. There will be a new $60 plan with bigger queues and other perks. Also there will be yearly plans for 20% off. Niji Journey is the anime version of Mid Journey. It is currently closed beta with around 10,000 people. It will soon be opened up to open beta. This will mean that Niji Journey will no longer be free to use, but they will allow using one plan to use both Niji Journey and default Mid Journey. The team is planning on adding the option to use Niji Journey with a main Mid Journey bot with Dash Dash Niji. Niji has anime style compared to the more realistic style of main mid journey. Version 5 is underway and currently training. The team does not have any idea if it will launch in December or January as it will take several weeks to train. They also don't currently know what it will look like as it's still in training. V5 will be better at language and image prompts, it will get more details right and it maybe will have higher resolution. The team is not happy about currently not having 2K times 2K resolutions and they want to get back to the higher resolutions again. There has been some complaints about hands looking bad and there being an issue with hands. Hands have never worked, now in version 4 they kind of work. V4 does hands better than earlier versions, hopefully V5 will do hands better than V4. Niji Journey currently is the best at hands, because there is more images of humans in the dataset to have better reference. The team wants to improve image quality but does not know if aspect ratio will necessarily improve it. Upscaler fix will happen sometime in the future. Currently there is a version that changes the details of an image and a version that does not. 
In the future they're hoping to have a slider that will allow to move between adding more detail or less detail. There will be mid-journey parties. The first will happen on a 70% chance in Tokyo between 21 to 31 December for around 1,000 people. They are figuring it out last minute. Tokyo makes sense as a choice, because it was one of top three places for it according to a poll done in the past and they're launching an Asia-themed version after all. There will be other events too, a second one possibly again in Tokyo during the cherry blossom time around May. That one will be larger if it will actually happen. Other events will happen elsewhere in the future. First San Francisco because David lives there and it will be easier to organize and then Amsterdam. The team will do more surveys around this. The team is planning a lot of secret projects. They are taking a lot of money from the community currently and investing that to exciting stuff that is coming next year. So that was the main part of the announcements before the Q&A I did not document that thoroughly. Additional memorable moments from the office hours were. A British guy who apologized for his accent, asked David some tough questions about what he is thankful for without having anything work or technology related in his answer. David is thankful for the past, future and the present. His answer was a lot more poetic than that, but unfortunately I cannot recall how he phrased his answer. The same guy also was an artist and apparently very happy that Midjourney does not produce perfect hands. The more imperfections the better as his customers prefer to buy something a lot more imperfect. He will be sad if Midjourney one day perfects hands. There was also some discussion about artists versus AI. David sees AI to be a new medium for people to express themselves. In my humble opinion he is right, it's almost like photography. Photography did not replace artists. Photography itself is currently considered as art. AI is just a different way to snap an image of something, and can be just as artistic as photography, the person prompting is just like a photographer. There was a lot more discussed in the office hours Q&A section, but that's what stuck in my mind from it. I hope you found this information useful. There also was a new update on the 1st of December 2022 which I will be discussing in a new video. A lot has changed again and it calls for some comparisons of what has changed. Let's continue prompting.